Hi, this is Jason Kidner with another edition of XBM's Expedited Explanations. These are short videos that help you maximize the value of Atlassian tools. In this video, I'm going to cover Jira Service Desk knowledge base integration with Confluence. Jira Service Desk and Confluence are both Atlassian tools that have a number of really cool integrations centered around knowledge base articles. So let's see how the knowledge base integration is set up. And finally, I will show the features that are available in this integration. I will be working in server instances of Jira Service Desk and Confluence, but this functionality is also available in cloud. So let's look and see that I have a Jira Service Desk portal set up to hypothetically uh, handle requests around our Atlassian Marketplace apps. This is re related to an XPM product support um, service desk project that you can see the queues set up here. I also have, in my Confluence instance, I have a space called XPM Product Support that has a number of articles listed here around our apps. And each of these articles is set up with specific labels, uh, strategic labels that I will show you later how that is used in this integration. Back in Service Desk, as a project admin, I can go to my project settings and under project settings, I can choose the knowledge base menu option. And this is where you set up uh, a link to a Confluence space for those articles. And I've already set this up to our XBM product support space. Uh, here I can see the viewing access for this Confluence space and it's set up for public view, uh, which again allows anyone to see these pages. They don't have to be logged into Confluence. Uh, I also have the ability here um, to limit the auto search ability uh, for each request type in my portal. Uh, I can turn uh, the searching on or off uh, with the knowledge base um, article search in Confluence. And I can also restrict uh, the page search to uh, articles with specific labels. And I'll show you how that works shortly. So uh, let's now show the features. Let's show how this really works for a customer and for an agent. So back in our portal, um, as a customer, I will start to type in what I need help with. And I'll say, I need help with Visualizer. This is one of our Atlassian apps. And what Jira Service Desk looks off of the, the words in my uh, query, and it goes and it searches the uh, articles in Confluence, and it brings back uh, related articles. I can see here, um, these could be helpful for me. If I click on one of these as a customer, I see the contents of the Confluence page. And if I scroll to the bottom, Jira Service Desk off allows me to give feedback on whether this helped solve my problem. I'm gonna hit yes. And we'll see that there are statistics that can be reported on this. So if I go back to results, and let's go back even further to our main site. If I go back to results, I can also choose a specific request type like report a bug. And here I had limited, for report a bug, I had limited the searching of articles to only show pages with the sync label. So if I go in here and I say um, help with visualizer, notice none of the articles from Confluence appear because none of the visualizer uh, articles have sync as a label. But if I say help with calendar sync, Jira Service Desk brings back the articles that have those labels and they match up. And I, again, I can click on those and say, yes, they help or they, they maybe don't help. Um, but I'm gonna cancel out of this for now and go back to my technical support request. And I'll, here I'll type in help with visualizer. And imagine I didn't look at any of these articles or maybe I didn't think they helped me. So I actually submit a ticket for visualizer hit create, and then back in Service Desk, I'll refresh the screen, and I'm gonna put my Service Desk agent hat on, and let's see how I can uh, use articles here. So I can see here, here's my technical support um, ticket that was just opened, and as an agent, I click on this, and Service Desk goes out and it searches Confluence for any related knowledge base articles, and it shows them here. And as an agent, I can then view those articles, here, pop up 
window. That might help me. I can also go, yeah, okay, I think this is helpful. I'm going to share this article with this customer because I think it's going to be very helpful for them. So I share it with them via comment. And imagine, let me refresh this, imagine that uh, this article really did help um, and they're, they're satisfied and I can close this ticket and say it was resolved. And I'll show some statistics related to that uh, in a minute. Uh, but I also wanted to show that as an agent, if none of these articles do are helpful, you think, um, you can search the knowledge base. It'll search for the, pa the pages in Confluence for other things you, you want to look up. Uh, and again, if, if there's not an article out there that's helpful, as an agent, you can create an article yourself that will be added to uh, the library of other articles to help other agents on your team. So lastly, uh, Jira Service Desk does have a number of reports, and there are two reports related to knowledge base. One is article usage, and this shows on a day-by-day -day basis the problems solved by articles, meaning somebody clicked that, yes, an article did help solve their problem. Um, there's also a article views from the portal statistic. There's also an article effectiveness report which gets to uh, requests resolved by agents sharing an article. Like I did earlier, I shared an article as an agent. It helped the customer, and I could close and resolve that ticket because of that article. Um, and it shows requests that were resolved without an article, and again, problems solved by articles. So in summary, knowledge-based articles add tremendous value in an ITSM solution like Jira Service Desk. And we showed three ways uh, for this value to be added. First, uh, strategically curated articles based on a customer's question can reduce the number of requests that are submitted uh, to your IT team. That's shown here when you put in a request. We see those curated articles here. Second, if a request needs to be submitted, a library of articles can be shown to the agent, and this can help them resolve the ticket quickly and with a high level of quality. And we also saw that an agent can easily create new articles to help other agents on their team. So thanks for watching. If you're interested in exploring Jira Service Desk further, you can register for our monthly Service Desk webinar at xvm.com. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button. If there is a subject you would like to see XVM discuss in a future expedited explanation, let us know in the comments below. Until then, this is Jason Kidner wishing you success in all your Atlassian adventures.